Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller and I like to open mystery boxes, mostly from ThreadUp and Goodwill Blue Box and Shop Goodwill. And today we have a ThreadUp DIY five pound jewelry box from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, if there's anything in this box that you're interested in purchasing from me, all you have to do is send me an email at the following address, brightenyourday at yahoo.com. Please have it spelled the exact way that it is on the screen. Um, I accept Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle. Those are the only three platforms I accept money on. So just keep that in mind. Um, please send me a timestamp and a screenshot of uh, and the price of the item that you're interested in. So, also guys, I bought a new ring light, so it should be very bright. Um, the problem is it doesn't fit my phone in the in the little thing. So I still have to use my old ring light stand to have my phone, and I have my new ring light over top of it. It's I have a crazy setup right now. All right, I bought this one. This one is the only one I've been able to get recently. I got this on March 20th. Guys, I didn't even think I got this. I had it in my cart. I went to check out and it said, we're sorry, something happened. I'm like, no. But I checked my email and sure enough, it went through. So sometimes startup will do that where it will say your order didn't go through, but then you actually go and check your email and it went through. So not sure what happened. I know a lot of people have done that and have accidentally bought multiple things, um, you know, from their boxes, but... And this is what they did. So this is interesting. They did not tape this. Usually they tape their boxes pretty securely. So that is very interesting. Um, this is what we have. So we have some jewelry there. I don't see anything amazing or offhand. This does look like sterling, this little ring right here. That's cool. Um, yeah. All right. Hopefully I got something good to use for my thumbnail. We'll see when I go to try and get a good screenshot. But this is what we have, guys. I don't know. Does this look like five pounds of jewelry? Maybe. This looks interesting. This looks like a big chunk of um, quartz. We have some bling. We have some art glass. We have some more natural stones, maybe. This earring's really cool. So I'm already love. Ooh, look at this, like, purple tiger's eye. That is stunning. Looks like we have maybe some Alex and Ani's. We have some fun earrings. Oh, this is Mart. PZ925 Israel. I have had this before. I will try to have the brand on the screen. But it actually is a pretty good um brand, I believe. PZ925 Israel. So... Hopefully we get the match to that. All right. So I guess we can just leave it right here and we'll just pull some things right out from it. Okay. Next, I want to see this tiger's eye thing. This is amazing. So I don't think this is sterling. It could be just silver tone. Now I can see what happened. So the little jump ring right here broke, which is not a big deal. Just need to put this back in there and then close it. So this really doesn't need much work. This is a stunning tiger's eye. It's like a purple tiger's eye. And we have all of these like silver tone beads. Now these silver tone beads do have wear. So we will put that to the side to test. If anyone is interested, I will have a price on the screen. So it'll be about 16 and a half to 16 and three quarters once I get this fixed. And um, we will test that for sterling to see if that is, you know, silver beads or not. Perfect, I like that. We have a hoop, any earrings that we get, we will just be moving to the side. This is really pretty. This is Mart, really cute, like a pewter maybe heart with horse on it. S-I-S-K-227, don't know that marking. That's really nice. We will have a price on the screen, hopefully, for that. I do not think that's sterling. This is Mart L L. And it is this really cool, like, conch shell. I believe these are conch shells, or I think that's what they are. But that's the marking. 
again, I will have a price on the screen for that. A lot of things to look up right away. Um, try to give you guys really good pricing. The prices that I put on the screen are the prices for my subscribers, meaning they are already 40 to 50% off what I would list them for. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right. And that is not including shipping. Um, shipping is $5. Um, if, unless it's over a pound. So if it's under a pound, it's $5 flat rate. And if it's over a pound, then I do give you an, um, an exact shipping quote from pirate ship, which is the cheap, which is the, um, cheapest shipping option. For all of these earrings. Really pretty earrings. Okay. Ooh, look at this ring. Look how... Alright, so this is the um, ring. Sorry about that, guys. I had to pause and try to call my phone. So this is marked a, with a lightning bolt and the 925. That means... But it's really pretty. It is a size 7. And that is just an absolute stunner. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's fully paved on the sides. Like, look at that amount of work that went into that ring. Like, that is just stunning. All right, so price will be on the screen for that. Hopefully, I have some information about it. Okay. Ooh, this is really pretty, too. I want to see what this is. Idly 925. Right there, it's marked Italy 925. And there's another stamp. Oh, it's Deodema. Deodema is definitely a good brand to keep an eye out for. I don't know if you can see the maker's mark right there or not, but it's marked Deodema. This is a really cool ring. I'm not sure how I get it. Okay, this is about a, this is really snug on my eight finger. But look how cool that is. I mean, that is a really cool ring. Let's get a measurement just to make sure I'm right on that. Um, yeah, well, it goes up to an eight. So it does go up to an eight. I guess if I just force it down, there we go. Okay, it does fit. That is a crazy cool ring. I might have to wear this a couple times, but I will give you guys the subscriber price. Dedima is a very expensive company, so I expect this to have some really good comps. But that's awesome. Again, we will test it for sterling. If you've never watched my videos before, I try to do all my um, acid testing at the end of my video. Unless we get something crazy, you know, like Tiffany, James Avery, Pandora, you know, things like that. We will test right away. This is a really pretty earring. It looks very much like Kate Spade. Don't see markings on it. Hopefully we get the match though, because that is stunning. All right. So we have a couple of these little pendants. I've had these before. Oh, I think we have the match. The um, cup pretty that is. Really pretty. Hopefully we um, oh, we did get the match. Okay, so hopefully that ends up being something good. Ooh, we have malachite. That looks like faux malachite though. Oh look, we got all of these really fun little pendants. I think this is a tarot card. Oh, no, um, that's smart. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move all of that back there. Okay, so you have all of these little pendants. I'm thinking they're all gemstones. Let's see. Yes, that is a quartz. This is some kind of quartz. This is not testing as anything, so this is probably how light. It's going up on the presidium, but not to a specific gemstone. The This is definitely faux. Yeah, that's probably some kind of man-made stone. And then the tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is going up to quartz. So, if anyone is interested in these, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I think my style encore or closed mentor would take for sure. So there's five of those. And we have some tassel earrings. Oh, we have a tassel necklace. I thought this was an earring. So far, I am very happy with this box. This looks like um, something... Like, um, Betsy Johnson would do. Oh, look, we have another one. Let's see what this is. 
I have a feeling we might have more. Oh, yeah. Look at this purple agate one. <gasps> okay. That's really cool. Okay. They are testing as gemstones. Yeah. Um. This might be a little 925 earring, maybe. Look how dainty that is. That's cute. Get rid of the earring. Lots of earrings. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look at this one. I feel like this is something Jennifer would wear. Oh, it's missing one little cabochon right there. Womp womp. All right. So we have that. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a broken something that goes to a sugar fix item because it's marked sugar fix. But that's going to go into craft. Okay, next we have an Alex and Ani. I believe this is from their birthstone collection. This is a Swarovski crystal. This is one of the ones that I actually, um, if I see them at thrift, I will pick up the ones that are the Swarovski crystals. These ones and the ones that are beaded around the um, band, those are the ones that do really well. I just saw this little ring that looks like it could be silver. Um, these are the ones that do really good. Let's do um, $5 on this. It's a really nice one. All right, we have an earring, no markings. We have an earring, this is very unique. I think it's missing something at the bottom. Okay, Ooh, th see this is the kind that do really well. Let's we'll see if these are any kind of stone. I think they're just glass. Let's do $5 on this one as well. Really pretty like faux amethyst, so I guess we call this amethyst glass. And it has the little Alex on tag. There is some wear on the tags, but that's to be expected. So we'll do $5 for that one. Oh, look, we have another one. This one's really pretty. These are all mother of pearl beads. Really pretty mother of pearl. We'll do $5 for this one as well. This one's in really good condition. Again, just has a little bit of wear on the hang tags. And again, Alex and Ani's are adjustable bracelets. So they're easy on and off. We'll fit any wrist size. Okay, we have a really pretty opalite. Maybe not opalite, I'm not sure what that is. Um, it's coming up as glass. It has these really pretty like filigree end caps. So let's do $2 on the little stretch bracelet. Ah. Okay, we have another Alex and Ani. This one is from 2016, it is an initial S. Um, I will probably give that to my aunt. Um, if he wants it, I'll do $5 on it. If it doesn't sell, I'll give it to my aunt. I give my aunt so much jewelry. Okay, what is this? This is marked. Nothing? This has to be something marked. This is really cool. Like, it's like an articulated, like, I don't even know. That's so unique. I feel like this is something that should have been marked. Well, I will Google lens it and see if anything comes up. Hopefully I'll have some information on the screen. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. They are marked with these logos. I don't know that mark. I don't even know what it is. You see how it has like these kind of clips? So I don't know what those go to. I will have to Google lens that. It's unique. This looks like 925. It is, it is marked S dot C 925. And they are, it's fully pavid. Hey, okay, they are so tiny. The precision is not testing as them. Um, but I think we might have diamonds there, guys. That's really pretty. What size is this? It is a size seven and a quarter, just shy of seven and a half. And that's really pretty. Also, guys, I'm wearing my Cartier ring that I got, I don't even know how long ago. I will link it right here. Um, that was an absolute insane find. Probably the best find I've ever gotten in a box. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have some information on the screen for like a price and if they're diamonds or not. I'm thinking CZs, but you just never know. Yeah, this Cardi is probably the best piece I've ever gotten in a box. Oh, we got the stunning rhinestone ring, ear, um, earring. We have all of these bracelets, I will stack them all up and then I will give a price for all of them because we have a lot of them it looks like. Yeah, this looks like maybe a Monet. It's not marked anything. 
It's a two and three quarters. We'll just do a dollar on it. It's really nice. Has that really nice ribbed texture. Nice piece. We have a stretch ring, has a lot of wear, so it'll be craft a dollar. Anything that I say is craft, it'll just go in my craft bin. And if you want pieces individually, they'll just be a dollar. If you want the whole bag, let me know and I will give you a price. All right. Oh, look, I think we might have the match to that owl. Stay tuned to the end if you want to see all the matches. So, like, there's an earring there. These are earrings. Oh, this is Mart. This is Mart. Um, Amir and Reese. I can't make out what that says, but that's really cool. So we will have to look into that. It's a cool looking earring. Okay, so these. Ah. This looks like a carved jade, but I think it's made to look like carved jade, not actual jade. Probably like a carved lucite. That's stunning. All right, sorry, I had a, that was getting on my nerves. That was a lot to untangle or move around. So this is cool. I don't see any maker's marks. So that's a really awesome, very statement-y earring. I don't think this is any precious metal. It's not testing as anything. So we will test it. You never know. All right, looks like we have the match to that Amir and Reese maybe. We have this really pretty earring have a ring. We're just going to throw that in craft. It might say something in band, but it just has a lot of wear. So that's just going to go in and craft a dollar. It has a lot of wear. Okay. Oh, look, we have little owls. Oh, they match. Okay. This is a good one to go ahead and give a price on. It is an antique silver with purple and teal enamel with black rhinestone eyes. How adorable. And they're in good condition. So, no, yeah, this one does have some wear. So, we'll just do a dollar on those. They do have some wear. Really cute, though. All right. Another earring. That one's broken. I think it might go to that one. Okay, we have more of these bangles. We have this long dangle. Okay, this is a crazy looking earring. This is quite unique. Look at that. Never seen one like that before. Okay. We have more of these bangles. These bangles are actually really fun to craft with. I would say I would keep them, but I already have so many of them. Here we have a broken ring. Actually, I think it may be just a toe ring. Oh, it is stamped something on the inside. We'll test it. It is stamped 925, so we'll test it, but... I'm not thinking so. Okay, look at this cool quartz thing. I think that is amazing. Oh, look, we have another one of those little pendants and another ring. All right, we have this cool earring. We have the match to it. If anyone likes those, we'll just do uh, $2. Quite substantial. Three and three quarters inch. So, yeah, two bucks on those. Okay, we have another pendant. This one is a dyed red howlite. We'll do, um, what did I say, $4 or so if you want all of them, something like that. I don't even know anymore. All right, this is also marked 925 and it is also marked S.C.925. So another one, we have two of these now. So we do have two of them. Well, that's awesome. They're the exact same fully paved little bands, like an eternity band. Interesting. Okay. Not many times you get ring sets. Oh, look, this is that earring that had the broken piece. Okay, this is a cool bracelet. This gives me major, like, designer vibes. We'll just do uh, $3 on this one. So this is the clasp. You would, um unhook it like so to get it on and off and has a little faux pearl and eight and, eight and three quarters so we'll do three dollars on that one this would be a cool men's piece you can even take the faux pearl off and just wear it as just a chain that's cool all right we have a stretch bracelet this will just be a dollar 
has some wear on it. Still pretty though. All right, we have this cool ear threader. Not thinking it's silver, but let's see. It's all magnetic, so we'll put it to the side. This is a stunning memory wire bracelet. These are like kind of like smoky quartz kind of colors. So we have like, like a gunmetal, we have silver, we have like a gray clear. We have a clear one right here in the middle. This is a memory wire. This is probably fits a much larger wrist or you know what? It could be a necklace. It probably, it's probably a necklace. Well, let's do um, $3 on it. It has some really pretty beads. So $3 for that one. All right. And guys, I'm not just like throwing jewelry to the side. I have buckets besides me. So I put the jewelry in and I organize it. Things that could be sterling, things are not sterling. Things I think might be something. So I'm not just like throwing it to the side. They're going in buckets. <laughs> All right, this is broken. So it's craft. This is a cool piece to craft with though. Okay. This is really tangled. Guys, usually the thread up boxes aren't as tangled. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's really cool. Do that next. But yeah, usually the thread up boxes are not this tangled. I don't know what's going on. This is pretty. Ooh, this is Avon. It's a really pretty Avon pendant. It is a tiger's eye cabochon with like this really pretty silver like basket kind of detailing all around. It's marked SP Avon. Really nice bail on that. So you can put that on any cord. Let's do $3 on this one. That's pretty. Love tiger's eye. All right, this is very unique. I don't see any maker's marks on this. This is definitely like a stainless steel. And it has like gold verme over here and this really cool like braided detail on each end. That's nice. All right, let's get a length on it. This is definitely a mince piece. It is a nine inch bracelet. And um, I'll have a price on the screen. I'm gonna Google lens this. We'll Google lens that, but price will be on the screen. Men's nine inch bracelet. All right, we have a really pretty ear threader. Kind of looks like something anthropology would make. All right, we have this pretty ear. All right, so this pretty earring. Okay, and then we had, I think we had the match to this one, which that one was missing on the other earring, but it's still pretty earring. Earring back. Okay. Ooh. Look at this stunner. Looks like another Kate Spade piece. Um. I don't see any maker's marks on this. That's that's a shocker. This is stunning. So it's like an ear threader style, but it has this absolutely stunning clear. Um, like stone CZ. Will dangle. That's awesome. Let me just make sure it's not it's easy. So hopefully we get the match of that. That's stunning. Okay, we have that. We have that. This looks like something cool. That's what it looks like. Look how pretty that is. It's awesome. Okay, next we have this like stretch bracelet. We have a mix of acrylic, glass, beaded, studded. We'll just do a dollar on this one. Okay, this one's like another stretch. This is like a piece of pottery maybe. We have this cool green and orange. Have, this one does have some wear. So we'll just do a dollar on that. Okay, this earring is awesome. I hope we get the match to that. Okay, this I've been eyeing since I saw it. This is a gorgeous piece of art glass. It's like a aqua kind of color. I don't know if you can come see that. It's like see-through. It has that really pretty like blue, orange, and green in there. 
is on in like an amber colored glass bead as well class um chain it is a toggle clasp no markings probably if i had to guess like gold filled or gold plated we have a 18 inch 18 inch um length on that let's do um Let's do $7 on that one. That one's really pretty. That's gorgeous. And I love these like amber beads. That's stunning. Seven on that. All right. Then we have this. There's a skull. It's all tangled. All right. So this is a stunning pendant. It is a fully pavade heart with purple, pink, AB, the black even rhinestones crystals has a heart cut on the back that is very like betsy it looks like there might be some very light wear on the chain like right here um let's just do a dollar on it honestly all you need to do is just put it on a different pendant and you're good but that's a really pretty pendant that's i'll i'll if it doesn't sell for a video i'll put that on a different chain and sell it all right Let's see. This is another one of those little star dangles. I have the other one right here. I don't know why they have these huge silicone backs. Really pretty. I'm assuming CZ. Let's see. Oh, diamond. Look, these are going to diamond, guys. Okay, look. So it's right on there. It is going ju up. Yeah, it's just shy of diamond. It went to diamond before. Um, so that's crazy. Again, it could be, um, lab created diamonds. So not like not mine. Oh, there is a marking on here, guys. Hold on. There is a marking. All right. So the only markings I can see is what it looks like. D20, D something 20. So we're going to test these for gold and sterling and just see what happens. So this is my stone for sterling. We want to scratch it pretty deep because we want to, if there's any kind of plating on it, like a rhodium plating, a sterling plating, a gold plating, we want it to obviously go through it. I try to test my items to the best of my ability. 18K on the sterling stone. I'm going to do 14K on the stone. Guys, it's testing as 18 karat gold and 14 karat gold. Like it's not disappearing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not right there. You guys see that? Guys, so I, okay, so it's not 20K, but it is testing as 14 karat gold. So it's not 20K. It did finally eat. It took a while for it to eat it, but it did eat it. So it is not 18 karat gold. So I think we have 14 karat gold. All right, guys. So I went ahead and took a picture of it with my phone. And that is the maker's mark. So I don't know if anyone recognizes that. Um, you can kind of see my ring light. <laughs> um, but if anyone recognizes that mark, I I don't I don't know what it is. DP20. I don't know. Um, but they are stunning. At, at minimum, it is 14 karat gold. They it is, it did hold on the 14k mark. So if anything, we have at least 14 karat gold and diamond um, earrings. That is insane. And they are stunning. So I will definitely have to do some more research on those to see if they're actual diamonds. Again, the Presidium does not know the difference between a lab created diamond and a moissanite and a real diamond. So... It's hard to tell you. I will probably end up having to take that to a jeweler. We have a gold tone. So that's crazy. Um, that will hopefully pay for the whole box. Next we have, like, I don't know how you go from there. Um, this, 
a gold tone about it's probably about 50 inches when you open the extender all the way up we'll just do two dollars on the gold tone chain okay next we have this really fun like skull it's like a dyed howlite stone with all of these white or cream and black kind of splattered um, beads. It is a 29 inch. And let's do $3 on that. It's cool. All right, next we have this really nice gold tone bracelet. It's not marked, but it feels like it should be. It's a really nice um, chain. I've never seen this like box chain before. It almost looks like little crescent moons almost. Really excellent condition. Like there's no wear on this at all. So that's nice. Let's get a measurement on it. Yes, it is a seven and a quarter inch bracelet. So seven and a quarter, let's do that one for $4. Really nice, I love that chain. $4 for that one. All right, we have another Swarovski. Um, uh, Alex and Ani. This one is the red. So this would be my birth month, this would be July. And that's supposed to, you know, represent a ruby. Um, this one's really good condition. So let's just do $6 on this one with the ruby. And so I'll probably give it to my aunt. Um, let's see. We have a band. It's not marked anything. Yes, CZs. Let's get a size on that. That is a size just shy of a nine. Really nice little ring. And um, we will test it just to make sure it's not sterling. Okay. Okay, we have another little ring. This is marked. Guys, this is marked 14K. <gasps> it's my size! <gasps> Guys, this is marked 14K. I don't know if you can see that. Right there in the corner right here 14k okay, let's test it guys uh, i'm so excited about this okay 14k acid um 14k times two today is that is like is that what we're doing we're getting 14k times two today um i'll wear it with my other gold ring <laughs> let's see if there's any markings while that sits let's see all right so here is the mark so 14k there and there's a little mark right there so i um don't know what those marks are so we will have to do some research but um that's going to be a keeper guys i don't own many gold rings if any i have to think about that um and it is still testing so it is 14k I'm so excited guys, two 14K items, mm -hmm. possible diamonds, and then a base of a sterling so far too. I'm thrilled with this box. Absolutely thrilled. Okay. Let's see what else Okay, this is one insane tangle by the way guys. That, that's insane. Okay, we have a little cork. I'm not sure what that goes to. We have more of these bangles. They are getting tangled up in just about everything. Those will go to the side. I have a nice stack of those so far. Okay. All right, so let's see. Oh, we're missing stones. Womp, womp, womp. If anyone wants this, this will just be craft a dollar. That's a shame. That's a stunner. That's a shame. Okay. Next, we have this long antique copper um, came undone right here. So that'll just go into craft a dollar. Okay, we have these tassel earrings. We'll just do a dollar on those. 
Okay. Let me have some hoops. Guys, I got so many hoops in that box uh, two weeks ago. And no one bought any of them either. <laughs> I still have all of those hoop earrings. Um, this is a two inch hoop. So we'll just do $2 on that. Two inch hoops. Okay, that goes with the other bangles earring. Okay, this is a puka shell necklace. And um, my nomads has taken every single puka shell item I have brought to them, which I may, if I have time, I might do a little nomads update. This is 16 inches and we'll do $3 on the puka shells. All right, we have a little hoop. Oh, look, we have another little simple stacking bracelet. Again, unisex for sure. It goes from an eight to a 11. I'm not sure about this clasp. Oh, cause there is no clasp. <laughs> okay, so it needs a, it needs a clasp. So that'll just be a dollar. I might fix that, I don't know. Okay, then we have this dainty gold necklace with this crystal at the end. It is a quartz. There is some wear on the chain. It is a 27 inch brace, a necklace. So that'll just be a dollar. It's missing, it's missing maybe a bead right here. It has some tarnish in the chain, so that'll just be a dollar. Um, but cute quartz pendant though. Um, that is pretty. Okay, that is still a tangled mess. We're not gonna deal with that right now. Oh guys, I think we have more of those little stone pendants too. All right, so that's all that. Looks like we have another one of those pave rings. It is S dot C nine two five, and it's a seven and a quarter. All right, so we have three of these now. So I hopefully I can find some information about that. Okay, let's see if there's any little bits at the bottom. Let's do all the chunky stuff. Ooh, this looks like Swarovski or Kate Spade. <gasps> Kate Spade. Ooh, do we have the match? Do we have the match? This looks like Bottega Veneta. That's cool. All right, let's see. Oh no, guys, I don't think we... <gasps> this is a stunner too. Look at this. This is a Naudry. Wow. Look at that stunner. Do we have the match to this? <gasps> we do. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. These are absolutely stunning. These probably retailed for like over $50. I would probably list them for like 25. If anyone wants them, I will do 10, but they are just absolutely stunning Nadri earrings. Like, ugh, they're articulated. Those are stunners. Absolutely stunning. Nadri, yes, please. <laughs> I would just love a box just full of Nandri. This is marked. Um, this is marked 14K. <laughs> Hold on guys, let's see if we can find the match. This is marked 14K. Okay, I think we might just have a bunch of little, oh, that's marked 925. It's marked 925. Okay, so those match, Put those right here. Okay, please tell me we got the match the 14K. It would be just my luck if we didn't. <laughs> All right, I don't see the match to it right now, but this is marked 14K. So we'll put that right there and we will test that. Okay, these are marked 925. So very dainty little gold verme over 925 stars. Um, I will have a price in it if they're 925 on the screen. And of course we will test them. All right, this is a cool composite um, mother of pearl shell bracelet, but it's going to go into craft. Those are some awesome beads to craft with though. So that's be a dollar. That will be a dollar. All right. This looks like it could be sterling. Maybe, um, you have another little ring. We are missing a single stone. They're CZs. So I'm not sure about that. That's really pretty. So we'll put this one to the side. Okay, this is a stunning ring. 
It is not marked anything, but look at that. That is a stunning, that looks like a wedding band. Like, wouldn't that be a stunning wedding ring? All right, let's see. Let's see what the stones are. <gasps> I found the 14K and it has its earring back. Oh my gosh, guys. We're going to test those as soon as I finish looking at this ring. Um, I think this ring could possibly be something. I don't know. Let's see. So I'm not sure what those stones are, but they're above the glass. So we will test that for silver. Hopefully I'll have some information on the screen. Okay, and then we did get the match. These absolutely adorable Kate Spade it is like a rainbow glitter enamel post earrings. And it is marked with the Kate Spade right there on the back. There's the marking. And if you don't know, Kate Spade earrings are just marked with a little spade. That's it. Um, I will have a price on the screen for those. Those are stunning. One of my favorite pieces. Okay. And then look at these stunner earrings. I keep getting distracted by all these stunning pieces of jewelry. Um, I don't see any marks on this, but again, it looks like something it's going again, it's going over glass, but it's going into Ruby Sapphire. It's going over glass into gemstones. So it definitely not just CZ. That's stunning. We will test that. Okay, we have more of these pendants. I honestly don't even remember what I said. Oh my gosh, guys, we got another one. We have a fourth ring. Um, So we have four of these stacker rings, all marked with the exact same thing. And they're all the exact same size. So that's cool. Okay, and then we have this little ring. Let's test these stones. They're all just CZs. Really pretty little stacker ring though. Um, we will test that for silver. All right, ooh, we have to match this. This gives me major um, KJL vibes, right? Doesn't that look like something KJL will do? That's really fun. We have the match. Okay, where's the 14K? Okay, here we go. So we have these little 14K studs. So we got three pieces of 14K today. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, I misunderstood. The earring backs are marked 14K. So let's test the earring backs. The actual earrings themselves are not marked anything. Yeah, so the earring backs are 14K. And I never get matching gold earring backs. I have a pair of 14K earrings. I might just put these on it. But um, we have little 14K earring backs. Okay, so 14 more 14K. That's awesome. All right, so let's. I guess we'll test these for sterling. Obviously, someone liked them enough to have 14K earring backs on them. All right, so we have another more of these um, pendants. This is going to Jade. This is going to Jade. This is a quartz amethyst citrine. So this is probably carnelian. This is probably Jade too. Jadeite. But this one's missing the... Um, the, ba the, ba the bale. All right, this one is probably how light. So it's, yeah, it's not a test as glass. Okay, so guys, honestly, I don't even remember what I said. Oh, here's the thing. So if anyone wants to fix this one, this is Jade. It just needs to get, oh, it's actually, I think I just fixed it. I think I just fixed it. We'll do $3 on this one. It is Jade, but just know it's not 100% you know, stable in there. These ones, let's just do $4 a piece. $4 a piece. And then maybe I'll count them all up at the end and give a price. Oh, look, we have another one. This one's a black, like marble. That's stunning. I love black marble. Okay. We have these stunning earrings. It's very unique. I love that. 
These give me major Bottega Veneta vibes. They did a very similar style to these. They're like a little teardrop kind of puffy hoop. We'll do $3 on those. Very designer inspired. All right, we have an earring, 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 earring. Oh my gosh, look at this little ladybug. Oh, I think this, is this Kate Spade? I wouldn't be surprised. It's not marked anything, but that is stunning. All right, so we have the stretch bracelet. It is antique copper in like a champagne crystal. It's like an antique copper, yeah. That's really pretty. Let's do $2 on it. And I think this might go with it, maybe. These are like a Howlite and Crystal. This stretch isn't very good, so that'll just be a dollar. So that'll just be a dollar. So then we have this like Dalmatian kind of Jasper. Pretty. Okay. Oh, look, we have the match to this earring that I think might be something. All right, then we have this pendant. This is stunning. Um, This is a reverse carved butterfly heart and it's crystal and it has an aurora borealis coating on the reverse carving side and i will have a price on the screen and we will test that for sterling okay we have a piece of maybe moonstone it does not have a very strong flash it is just barely there i think it is going over quartz it's going way over quartz but it's definitely moonstone um we'll do four dollars on this little pendant i believe it's just a very cloudy moonstone all right look we have the match to that earring this is stamped 925 i do have my doubts about it though really cute little heart ring and it's stamped 925 let's get a measurement on it Yeah, it's just shy of a seven. And we will test that for sterling. It's really pretty. Okay, we have that earring. I think we have the match. We do. Let's do $3 on these. It's really fun. All right, we have another ring. This looks like a pure Vita. So we will test that just to see if it's sterling or not. It's usually marked 925. Okay, we have a little hoop. We have a lot of little hoops. Okay, we have another little ring. Not marked anything. We'll test it though. Just never know when you get this point. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. Look at this pretty little flower pendant. Oh, earring, earring, earring. You like pretty earring? Oh, there we go. Earring. These are all with a match. So we have these nice little rhinestone heart earrings. Let's just do two dollars on those. Post backs. Oh, this is a ring. How fun is that? It's a little ring, a little seed bead ring in sequins. Let's get a size. Oh, it's a stretch. So I think at the shortest about a about an eight and then it goes all the way up to a 12. Let's just do a dollar on that. That is so cute. All right, we have that earring. Oh, we have the match to this one, which we're gonna test. This looks like jade. It is. It's testing as jadeite. I don't see the match though, so we'll put it aside to test for silver. The ear post on this is stamped 925. So I will price on the screen and we will test them. Okay, we have an earring, ear threader, earring. Ooh, a little. This looks like it could be 925. A little turtle. Alrighty, so this is marked 925, little evil eye studs. So let's test those. It is going up to spinel. Um, and then the stones around it are going, were going up, and then they stopped, but it buzzed. But that's testing as a spinel, so that's interesting. And then these little hoops have something written on the inside and the 925 so we will test those okay and then we have all of these earrings that are not matched so 
these are not matched. Okay, we have this earring. Earring, earring, earring. This is pretty. These are glass. Glass beads. They'll just go into craft a dollar. We have that earring, we have that earring, we have that earring. Okay. So um, these are marked Marvel. Really cute little Captain America shields. They do have a little bit of wear. Let's just do a dollar on those. Captain America studs. Love those. Okay. So then we have all of this jewelry or jewelry. Okay. Then we have this big tangle. I feel like we got this necklace, but it was like faux coral. Oh, look, this has a cool pendant on it. Oh, we have the match to that. Oh my gosh, look how fun that disco earring is. Okay, this is a really pretty, um... Oh, I think we might have the match the jade. So hopefully we, um, that's sterling. Okay, this is a faux pearl and rhinestone bracelet. Very classic, very like, um... Hollywood kind of style. Let's see. I don't see any maker's marks on this, but this is just absolutely stunning. It is a seven inch wrist. Let's do five on this one. Five dollars if anyone likes that bracelet. All right next we have this Alex and Ani, another one. This one will just be five dollars. This is a clear bead with like a rose gold center. Really pretty. Again, adjustable. $5. We do have the match to the disco balls. These are hilarious. Um, we will do $3 for the disco balls. Those are just so fun. And they're not missing any. That's just how they are put together. That is just so fun. $3 for those. All right, next we have this long strand of seed beads. It has a little bit of stretch to it as well. It's about 60 inches of beads and it has a stretch. So if you need to like, you know, put this over your head, double it, triple it, however you want to do it, because you could definitely triple it. It's 60 inches. Let's do $4 for all of these seed beads. All right, next we have... This, I believe, I think the last one I got was glass. Okay, first of all, it's very tangled. Okay, guys, I am not quite sure what this whole situation is. I'm not sure. Um, I think it just needs to get cut right here. Somehow it got attached and it won't let go. Um, but if anyone wants this as is, let's just do $3 on it. And then I'll have to try and figure out how to fix that. This is awesome. I love these beads. They're definitely carnelian. Yeah. Um, really pretty colors to that. It's just on a silver tone clasp with a silver tone extender. I love carnelian. This one goes from a 9 to a 10. But really, it's not going to fit like a 9. I'm a 7. And I would say this kind of fits me because the beads are long, like they take up more room. So I would say this fits best like a seven, seven and a half, eight. You could squeeze it at a nine, but I definitely think it best is. Oh, and it does have an extender as well. So let's do $5. This is carnelian. It's worth that just for the beads. All right. We have an earring. We have a, that's going to craft. All right, guys, I'm going to have to um, untangle this off camera. I'll be right back. All right, guys, this took me a while. Um, first thing is this necklace that's going to go into craft. It is just going to be a dollar. It's missing half the chain and it's missing cabochon. So that's craft. All right, so we have an earring. We got several of the earrings I was hoping we would get. So this 925 earring, this really pretty crystal earring. Um, so those are nice. 
we will test that. All right, um, let's get started. Let's get started with probably my favorite thing that was in the tangle. And that is this absolutely stunning, probably said that word a million times in this video, Kendra Scott. This is a clear quartz, and I would assume it's the CZ. Yeah, quartz and CZ. It is a stunning Kendra Scott quartz and CZ. This is called the, the Brett, I think. I'll have to double check to make sure. But I think this is called the Brett. And just if I had to guess, I'd probably list this between 35 and 40. So if anyone is interested, I will do 18. 18 on the Kendra Scott Brett necklace. That is stunning. Favorite, one of my favorite pieces so far. All right, this will be going into craft. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, that's craft a dollar. Okay, Um. let's see. This was a really pretty gold. Um, I'm not sure if it's for May, if it is uh, filled. It's not marked anything. It is magnetic. So to assume just gold plated, it is approximately 25 inches and it is a very dainty um, Figaro chain. Let's do $5 on the Figaro chain. That is a very nice one. All right, then we have this very, um, I would say choker length, collar length chain. This is um like what I would say is like a regular Figaro. This one is a 16 inch or just shy of 16 inch. That one will just be $2. Okay. Then we have this one that has a super cute little love, um, pendant look love. How cute is that? I don't see any makers marks on it. Without the extender, 16 inches plus a two inch extender. So 16 to 18, it is not magnetic. So we will test this one. I'll have a price on the screen. Super dainty little love. Super cute, test that. All right, so then we have this little chain that is also marked nine or this this one is marked 925 it goes from a 13 inch all the way up to a 16 so 13 to 16 inch let's see it's not magnetic so we will test that as well all right then we have this cool chain has like these two dangling leaves this one's on a little bit on the longer side. Let's see. 21 inch plus a two inch extender. We will just do $3 on the little dangling leaves. $3. Okay, then we have this stunning little rhinestone. It's made to look like J. Crew. We have like a faux amber, a faux opalite. We have clear rhinestones. Just absolutely stunning. This one is a 15 inch, 15 inch necklace. So let's just do $3 on this one as well. $3 for that. And we have another chain. Um, this one's a nice one. This is like a curb link. I think that's a curb link. I don't know. Honestly, guys, it's hard to remember the difference between a um, curb link and a Cuban link. They're very similar. Okay, let's see. This is a 16 inch gold tone chain. This will just be $4 on this one. Very nice unisex piece, good layering piece. We have another one. This one is, a, I would say just a regular Figaro chain, gold, gold tone. This one is stainless steel, which is always good. Stainless steel chains, they say, last longer than sterling chains, if you believe that. That's pretty cool. Um, this is an 18-inch plus a 2-inch extender, so 18 to 20. 
And this one's stainless steel. So let's do $5 on the um, Figaro. So it's stainless steel with a gold rime. All right. So those, I think, were the chains. Let's see. We have this really pretty necklace. It's long. It might have somewhere. I can't really tell in my lighting. Um, it's a really pretty Larry necklace. It goes from a uh, 34 inch to a 38 inch. Yeah, three and a half, three and a half inch extender. So we'll just do two dollars on this. It's really pretty, good layering piece. Okay, next we have this piece. It is a gold, gold tone chain, like a rope chain, snake chain, and it goes into this like lariat kind of style pendant that you can make one longer than the other, one shorter than the other. It has this gold tone tassel. And um, we'll just do that one for $3, gold tone. All right, this I will need to Google Lens. It is really nice. So we have like these, again, like a Lariat kind of bolo style necklace. And it has these little pyrite, fasted pyrite beads. So... Um, if anyone's interested, of course, you can send me an email and I can, you know, speed up my research for you. <gasps> but, um, yeah, I need to look that one up. This is a silver tone ball with little peace symbols. It is 34 inches and this will just be $2. Okay, this is a piece of quartz. Now, the bale that it is in does have some wear. I think it just adds to the antiquiness of it though. I don't think it's a problem. It is on a thirty-two inch chain plus an inch and a half extender. Two yeah, an inch and a half extender. And this is a clear quartz. Yes. This is a quartz. Um, let's do five dollars on the quartz. It's a nice chunk there. So let's just do $5 on that. All right, then we have this little, I believe this was Avon. It doesn't have the Avon marking, but it has the like very traditional Avon extender on here. So we're just gonna say that's an Avon piece. That'll just be $2, little wood beads. Okay, this is a new with tags, handmade. It says Compassion Fashion or fashion and compassion. And um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's a handmade piece, 36 inch necklace, no class goes right over the head. These are like a gold tone, uh, brass colored beads and like a cream ivory um, rice paper bead. Let's just do $4 for that one. It's new with tags. Okay, this one is really pretty. So this one is a double layer, a facet purple beads. It's approximately 33 inches or so. That'll just be $2. We have this stunning one. These are all glass faceted beads, almost like a smoky quartz. has like a slate gray to it. Ooh, this one's a Banana Republic. It's a toggle clasp, no extender. It is a... 30, 33 inch length, and we will do $5 on the Banana Republic. It's nice. Um, we have this really awesome statement necklace. I think we are not missing anything. We are all attached. Yeah, so we have all of its beads. I don't see any maker's marks on this. I think it's awesome. Let's shoot $4 on that one. And then I think this was just, um, yeah, this is just craft. So if anyone wants the chain, it's like a gunmetal link. That'll just be a dollar. We have 18 bangles, um, all matte gold and matte silver tone. Let's do $3 for all 18 of them. So $3 and you get 18 bangle bracelets. So it's a good buy there. All right, um, I'm gonna pause you. I'm gonna match up the earrings. I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I went ahead and matched up all of these earrings and let's get started. Um, we got a lot of matches, as you can see. So let's start off with these. So this is missing one stone, but they are awesome. And honestly, I don't think anyone would ever be able to see it when you wear it. It's missing one stone right there. So it's missing one stone right there. So we'll just do a dollar on those. Those are really nice. These, I believe, are Premier Designs. I think I've had these before. Um, we'll just do $3 for these. They're very lightweight, very pretty. Filigree cutout. These go with that tassel necklace that I showed. Um, so I'll just include those with that necklace. These, I believe, are a real suede or leather. Um, it almost looks like bamboo, almost. Um, we'll just do a dollar on those. We have these gold tone hoops. These will just be two dollars. They're about a two inch hoop if I had to guess. Oh uh, no, they're inch and a half inch. Inch and a half. All right, these are absolutely stunning. These, I bet, are some kind of brand. They are very nicely well made gold tone with these opal light beads and white beads all fasted post back we're gonna do five on these these are stunning i think those might be anthro those are stunning okay next also possibly could be an anthro piece these really fun like fringy earrings we'll just do two dollars on these they have a nice bit of weight to them so i feel like they're nicely made not heavy where they're going to like drag down your ears, but nicely made. These are really awesome. They are like a periwinkle blue and gold. They are a threader hoop. And we'll just do $3 on those. These are just going to be a dollar. They are faux pearl studs. Big faux pearls. Um, these are just going to be a dollar. There's a little bit of glue spillage. Um... So there's a little bit of ex excess glue on those, but they'll just be a dollar. These are stunning. Let's see if all of the stones are present. It looks like all of the stones are indeed there. These are stunning. Let's do $5 for these. Really pretty. Articulated. Little like leaves or feathers. Love those. Five dollars for those. Um, these are amazing. These are tiger's eye. Is that tiger's eye cabochon? And I believe suede. Let's do um four dollars on these. So we have suede and tiger's eye. Those are awesome. Very boho. Four bucks. We have these little infinity um studs. Those will just be a dollar. We have these that say stay positive. Those just be two dollars. Once a stay, once it's positive. Those just be two dollars. We have these little, probably about an inch and a half inch. Those are cracked. So we'll tarnish on them. All right, look how fun these owls are. So we have um, big enameled eyes and these really fun, like tribal boho enameling. These ones will be $3. They have a nice little bit of weight to them. Not heavy, but they have a nice bit of weight. These are really pretty Pave crystal hearts. I believe this matches that pendant. No missing stones. If anyone likes those, those will just be a dollar. We have these little gunmetal in purple, pink purple. Um, those will just be a dollar. We have these that I'm going to Google Lens, and hopefully I will have a price and or a brand on the on the screen. If not, I'll just put IDK. <laughs> Those are pretty. We have these. I don't think these are any kind of stone. It's just glass, I think. We're going to test, let's see, are the ear hooks magnetic? We're going to test these ear hooks to see if they're silver. And then I will have a price on the screen for those. Okay. These are actually marked 
925 on the post. So we will be testing these as well. All right, we have these little kind of glass crystal stars. They have a little bit of wear. We'll just do a dollar on them. Really pretty. We have these little ladybugs. All right, then I have these red, white, and blue patriotic star earrings. Perfect for Fourth of July, Memorial Day. We'll just do um, two dollars on those. Red, blue, and clear. Okay, we have these really cute. This is like an antique kind of gold, rose gold. I can't really tell. It has a jelly belly center. Black rhinestone eyes, fully pavade. We'll do two dollars for those. Really fun. All right, then we have these gorgeous statement earrings. Very boho, a little Celtic almost. Those are amazing. We'll do $3 for these. All the stones are present. Just needs a little bit of a wipe down. There's like a little bit of white on it. I'm not sure what that is. All right, we have these that are very statementy, dangly. These are like chandelier style. Oh, we're missing one bead, so those will go into the craft. Dollar. Um, these I'm going to Google Lens and see if anything comes up. I think these are Lucite. Not acrylic. I think they are Lucite, possibly. I have a necklace. I think it's KJL. And this very much looks very similar to those. If um, I, I can, I'll have a price on the screen for those. Okay, this was the thing that was broken that was Stitch Fix. Or not stitch fix, sugar fix. Um, so if someone wants to figure out how to fix this, I think it just needs to get glued back on. Um, those will just be a dollar, but they are sugar fix, um, sugar fix earrings. So those will just be a dollar. You have these little rhinestones. It's like a citrine kind of color. Those will just be a dollar. All right. Next we have like these like wishbone horn. I'm not really sure what they are. I'll probably Google Lens them and just see if anything pops up and I will have some information on the screen for that. These are so cute. These are vintage little flower dangle hoops. They are a post back. I don't see any markings on them. They have a little bit of wear on the gold tone, but we're going to do $2 on them. They are just so fun. Okay, these are a little mismatch pair. So one... Maybe they're not. I'm not sure. I mean, I think someone could wear them mismatched, but if anyone wants those, they'll just be a dollar for both of those. These, I think we are missing the top half of these earrings. This is the back to a front and back earring. But if anyone wants them, it's an abalone crescent moon. Those would just be a dollar. We have these that if someone wants to fix up would make awesome earrings. Um, it just needs another ear hook. We'll just do those for a dollar. And then we have these that look like jade, but I think they're just plastic. They feel very lightweight. They look vintage. We'll do those ones for five. I think those could be maybe Lucite. They could be Bakelite. Let's, um, let's test them for Bakelite really quickly. All right. So we have a little bit of um, Simichrome on there. And we're just going to rub that in on the plastic. If it turns a yellowy or orange color, it is Bakelite. If it stays pink, it is just plastic. It stayed pink. Yeah, so it's not Bakelite. It stayed pink. So we'll just do these for $5. Really fun. Um, I guess since I already have it out, I could test this for Bakelite as well. And it's not. So not Bakelite. Really pretty earrings though. Okay. And then we had these earrings that are marked A-M-A-R-E-E -E, maybe? I don't know. I'll have a price on the screen for those. Okay, so that was all my earrings. So now let's <clears throat> test the sterling. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we have a ton to test here. So let's get into it. I tested everything that I thought was silver, gold, 
Um, gold we already tested, but so anything I thought might have been silver, I tested. When I see some blue already, so that is always a good sign. All right, so we have a nice bit of sterling here. So, okay, so this is not sterling. So if anyone wants this for the um, the beads, and again, you need to fix it, um, let's do $10 on that. That's stunning red tiger's eye. Okay, this is sterling. So this whole ring is sterling. I will have a price on the screen. And again, I think that was a size um, eight. Yeah, look how awesome that looks. And you can move your finger with it, it's a spring. So it's wearable and you can like stretch it out a little bit if you want a little bit longer. That's amazing. Price will be on the screen for that. So all of these rings tested for sterling. So um, that's awesome. I will have to do a little bit of research on those. Hopefully I'll have a price. Okay, this is not sterling, not sterling, not sterling, not sterling, not sterling. So this one is definitely sterling. That is amazing. I love the amount of detail that went into this ring. And that was a nice size one too. So that's amazing. Is testing for sterling. This one is not, even though it is stamped 925. Um, this was a size seven. So let's just do $3 on it. It's marked 925, but it is not testing as such. All right, this is testing as sterling, but it's not marked. So I will have to do a little bit of research on that one. All right. And then this one is not sterling. So all of the ones I said were not sterling. Let's do for all of them. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Let's just do $5. And you get all of the rings that did not test for sterling. Okay. All right. So then we have these that did test for sterling, the ear wires. So let's see, I think that we already tested these. They're just glass. Let's do um, $8 on these, 925 ear wires and glass. These did not test for sterling. So let's just do $4 on these stunning um, blue crystal earrings. All right, these did not test for sterling either. So let's do $4 for these as well. Absolutely gorgeous faceted crystal dangles. So these did not test for sterling. Just do $2 on these ear threaders. These are not sterling. They could be gold, but I don't think so. Okay, these did test for sterling. And this was marked PZ925 Israel. And test that stone in them. It's easy. So we have those. All right, this is not testing as sterling either. This one is a size seven and a quarter. We'll do $3 on that one. So pretty. All right, these did test for sterling and jade. So let's do $12. $12 for these 925 and jade. That did not test for sterling. So that'll just be a dollar, a little pure beta ring with some tarnish. Okay, this love necklace did not test for sterling. So let's just do $3 for it. It says love. So $3 for that. Okay, this chain did test for sterling. So it's a little ball chain with a extender. All right, so this goes from 13 inches to 16 inches. And this is all 925. Let's do um, $12 on the little chain. All right, so then we have these earrings did not test for sterling. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on those because those are stunning. These little 925 turtle earrings are sterling. So look how adorable that little turtle is. And of course we have the match. Let's do $12 for the little 925 turtles. All right, the pendant is not sterling, so let's just do $3 for it. It's the reverse carved butterfly. The post on these are testing as 925. 
Um, I don't know about this. This looks like a gold tone or brass. I'm thinking these are made well. So let's just do uh, $8. $8 on those. I'm thinking they're made well, but I could be wrong. These did not test a sterling. So we'll just do $3 on those. All right. So these little huggy hoops did test as 925 silver. They latched to themselves. And as he's stunning, I would assume CZ. Um, little itty bitty hoops. They are marked on the inside. A N A T A R Anatar something. Um, so I will have a price on the screen for those. I'm gonna have to look those up. Okay, these hoogie hoops did not test. So these ones, I'm not sure. They're not testing as sterling, but they're also not fading. <laughs> So I don't know if these are gold. I'm not sure about these. They're not testing as silver, but they're also not testing for gold. But I don't know. I feel like there might be something. So I'm not sure about these. These ones will just be $3. They are Huggy Hoops. Not marked anything. Um, but we'll just do $3 for those. They're not testing as anything. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually, I'm going to hold on to these. They're not testing for sterling. They're not testing for gold, but they did have those 14 K earring backs. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep testing those. All right. So next we had these little stars. These are testing as 925. We will just do $5 for those little itty bitty stars with gold verme. And then these little, um, earrings that are a little evil eye. It is testing as a, um, Spinel, I think it was. Um, so I will do a little bit more research on these and I think I might know someone who will want them. All right, so that was my box. All right, guys, I miscounted. Um, there's actually 14 pendants. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 plus the one that needs to be re-glued. So that is 14 pendants. If someone wants all 14, I will do $35. Or if you wanna pick them out individually, I will do $4 a piece. Um, I love this. My favorite pieces um, are the little fashion bracelet, the carnelian, the stunning Nodries, just stunning, the Kate Spade bows, Oh, these are little fashion hoops. I forgot to show them. Um, those will just be a dollar. Um, of course, the Kendra Scott. We had the 14K, so the 14K ring. These little possibly 14 karat gold and diamond earrings. And then of course the 14 karat gold backs. So, oh, guys, in a giveaway. We are going to be doing a giveaway, guys. <laughs> we are going to be doing a giveaway. All right. So we are going to be giving away a brand new jewelry case. So you can put your rings, your um, your bracelets. You can hang your rings or your necklaces up here. So rings, bracelets, necklaces, pendants, all of the jazz will fit in here. It's brand new. And to be entered into this... All you have to do is comment gold. Just comment gold in the chat. My only rules on this is, again, you have to be hit subscribe. You have to be subscribed. Um, I need you to like the video and I need you to comment gold. Um, this is only um, free shipping within the US. If you live outside of the US, I will split the shipping with you. You have 72 hours to claim your prize once I announce the winner. The winner for this will be announced next Saturday. I will pull it next Thursday or Friday and I will announce the winner on Saturday. Guys, if you don't know, I post videos every Saturday night at 535 Eastern. So um, if you want to be entered and you want to see if you won, make sure to watch next week's video. All right, guys, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.